What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Look at this man. This shit is gorgeous. My bike feels amazing right now. I changed the brake fluid and I did like a system flush for the brake fluid and then I also changed the oil yesterday. So it's feeling extra smooth. Uh, clean the chain, wash it, everything. It feels pretty nice. It's a little dirty because I rode after, you know, make sure it was all good and everything. But yeah, it feels amazing, dude. But. Beautiful sunset today, or tonight, I don't know. And quote of the day for today's video is, what's your why? Or what is your why? You can make that for anything, absolutely anything that you do. What is your reason? What is your why for doing it? There's something my coach used to tell me all the time when I played sports. He used to say, what's your why? Why do you, why do you show up? to practice why are you here why are you coming to practice every day like wh wh why are you here and if we didn't have a reason then he knew there was a problem it's the same thing with your life why do you do the things you do there has to be a reason there has to be a, a, a purpose to your life you can't just aimlessly wander through life hoping things happen to you it's never gonna work out that way you always gotta have a reason as to what you do, why you do the things you do. Dude, it is so nice out right now. Oh, please don't merge into me. Okay. Oh. I never test I never trust Tesla drivers, bro, I swear to god. Like 90% of the Tesla drivers, I feel like they rely on the car too much to do the driving, so they just don't care, bro. I don't blame them. I'm not saying I mean I treat myself as if I'm invisible anyways, as if no one can see me at any time. But especially the Teslas, bro. I do not fuck around with the Teslas. But back to quote of the day. Yeah, what is the reason you do the things you do? You know, why do you do these things? There has to be a reason behind the things, or else you're just going to aimlessly wander through life, bouncing from point to point, wondering why things never go your way. you got to take control of your life, bro. If you don't have a reason to live your life, you're going to live a pointless life. Like, why do you want, even want to be on Earth? Why do you want to survive? Why do you want to stay alive? What's the point? There's got to be something that keeps you alive. Something that keeps you getting better and better and better and better every day. And it's okay if you don't know what that is right now. But you have to figure it out. Because if you never do, bro, you're gonna wake up as soon as you know it on your last day on Earth and wonder where all the time went, you know? So, live your life with purpose, don't just wander through life hoping things happen to you and then complaining when things never go your way. Have a purpose for your life. Want something better for yourself. Want things, want good things to happen to you. And things like that will happen because you're going to figure out a way for those things to happen. You're going to figure out a way to make those things happen, you know? So yeah of the day that's quote of the day and now we're going to hit a nice beautiful ride it's warm outside the sun just set like bro beautiful man I feel like 
consoles also have too many distractions in them, bro. Like, I've seen a center console and it's literally a fucking TV screen, dude. It's like, bro. I mean, I'm not blaming them. I'm not, like, mad at any Tesla driver left. Like, I don't care, bro. I just gotta take extra caution around those dudes, bro, because... They just not not aware. I mean, bro, but like in a car, every time I drive my car, I zone the fuck out. Like I swear, because driving a car is so boring, dude. It's like, yeah, I'm like awake, but I'm not prison. Like that shit is just boring, dude. So I don't blame anybody. Obviously, you can't just like be asleep and driving, but I mean, I zone out all the time when I drive, which may not be the best thing, but. It's just, it's so boring. That's why I always pretend like I'm visible. Especially at nighttime, because one, I'm like all black. And two, that's usually when all of the drunk drivers be out. Cause I live in Vegas, man. And it's a sin city. So you know motherfuckers driving drunk always. That's why we got these dots instead of actual painted lines. And they're like little dots, like plastic dots. This is how drunk people stay in their lane. Like when they're like swerving all over the place, those dots help them stay centered in their lane. That's literally why we have those, bro. Kind of sad, but I mean, it works, I guess. Dude, I don't know what it is, but I swear, all of the new electric cars are just not it, man. Oh my god. Then I, th I don't know if it's a new oil or something, but I've almost saw this bike like two or three times already since I changed the oil. I don't know if it makes a difference, but it feels a little different. And also, my fucking tank grips are coming off getting too hot and the adhesive is coming off me. Oh dude, it smells like fresh cut grass over here. That smell is so... I love that smell. Especially because I live in the desert. I never smell that shit. Dude, what am I feeling on my leg? Is that the tank grip or what? It's like, I feel something. Oh, doggy. Oh, damn, I didn't see that guy till the last second. I would've waved. are coming off bro. might need to get a new one these two are racing up here oh hell no bro what the fuck is this ghetto ass shit right here dog Oh hell no. Dude, Vegas is so good, oh, I swear to god it is. Dog, that shit was ghetto as hell. Blessed me, man, for real. And the brakes, too. Dude, this shit was literally dark, like, fucking black coffee color. The brake fluid, it was bad, dude. It was literally black. And then 
I changed it now, it's actually like light yellow. But dude, it was black. It was bad. I only used like half the bottle of the brake fluid. So, I guess I didn't really take it. It didn't take that. I thought it was going to be more to flush the whole system. Like through the ABS and everything, but it wasn't. It was not that bad. There's a strip over there. I don't know, I've never gone on the strip for radio, but I'm not really trying to go on the strip, bro. I feel like most of the time we're just gonna be sitting there in traffic and it's just light after light after light after light and it's just gonna be like boring. I guess if you do like stunting and shit, maybe it'd be fun, but I don't do any sort of stunting. Like I've seen some people that stunt there, but I'm not a stunter, bro. No way we go, right? Oh, hell yeah. I love the look of the casinos at night time though. course but it's nighttime and I don't really know if I trust it that much mm, I'm not going to it's kind of far from here still too I'm not gonna lie oh hell no discreet party bus oh I don't even want to know what goes on in there dude oh hello cop I promise I'm a law-abiding citizen I don't break the law bro ever yeah dude this thing feeling so nice after the oil change i'm so glad i did it the oil was like normal dark color as expected but the brake fluid was bad man and i don't really notice that much of a difference because i don't brake hard but i'm sure like if i use the brakes under very hard conditions i would feel the difference i mean on the street though i'm not going to use the brakes hard enough to feel the difference of changing the fluids so but yeah, the oil change, as expected, feels amazing. And what the hell is that? sleeping behind the wheel I also converted it to, to GP shift yesterday but I didn't really like it because GP shift if you don't know is just uh, one up and then the five down so it's just backwards from what it normally is which is one down and then five up but the quick shifter doesn't work with gp shift on this bike so i had to you know like it kind of worked but there's also i think there's like a safety mechanism to where you can't downshift on the bike while you have the while you have the throttle in oh my god i just fucking kill switched myself on accident <laughs> um so if i had the throttle like on if i was on the throttle and I tried to push down to shift, like to shift up, it wouldn't let me, so I had to like roll off, shift, and then roll back on. It was basically just like clutchless shifting. But I don't I didn't like it, so I mean I missed my auto blipper. I mean my quick shifter. So I switched it back to normal. I kinda like the normal better to be honest. It's easier for me to remember because up is up in gears and down is down. So 
I'm sure if I had an actual like auto blipper and quick shifter set up to where I could run Moto G like not Moto GP shift but just GP shift uh, without having like with actually being able to use it, not having to roll off and roll back on. Maybe I'd like it, but still I don't know. I kind of like pushing up to shift anyway, so yeah. But yeah, no, I tried it yesterday. Didn't really like it because quick shift doesn't work anymore. And this bike sounds crazy with the quick shifter, so. No, I gotta have that quick shift around here. in Spanish is. Bro, I'm trying to learn my Spanish, bro. It's kind of difficult, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not, like, surrounded. Well, okay, in my city I am, but it, like, my family or anything. But my family speaks Spanish, so... Oh, I don't really have, like, anyone else to talk to. I did. There, well, there is someone, but... Like, in person, I mean. Is it just me, or does my lever guards look uneven in the shadow? does I don't know bro dude these lights are so bright behind me I can't dude I gotta get out from behind them like oh this is like quick shifter man oh it sounds so good I kind of want to go in the mini course so I'm gonna go in it bro it might not be the best idea because it's dark, but I think I know the course. It's literally straight, left curve, right curve a little bit, left again, and then straight. It's like not anything complicated at all. I guess that was a good test for the brake fluid. It feels really, really smooth yet strong, if that makes sense. Like, really smooth, but also when you pull on the brakes, like you're pulling on the brakes. And it actually like means it. But it, the, the application, like from no brakes to brakes, is really smooth. Yeah, man. I'm happy I changed all the fluids, man. And I'm glad I know how to actually do it myself. Because taking it to the dealership or like to a mechanic or something one you have to like trust them and two it's expensive as hell and it's fun to learn how to do it yourself so There's a paintballing place out here that's so fun. Oh my god, I already picked up hella bugs. Hopefully the camera's fine. On my ride last night, I picked up like 300 bugs, bro. My whole visor was covered in bugs. Right there, combat zone paintball. Dude, that place is so fucking fun, man. I've been there before, and it's like so fun. They even do this thing where it's zombie, like apocalypse. 
I don't know if they only do it like Halloween or something, but it's so fun, man. Because then there's, I've never done the zombie one. I've just gone there and, you know, played against my friends and stuff like a long time ago. But the zombie one is cool because they have actors that get dressed up in zombie outfits and then they basically like run around and try to get you and then you just like defend an area with paintballs and try to shoot at them. It's fun. God, dude, it is so nice out right now. It's like warm and then the breeze is cool. Oh my god, dude. There is the start of the mini course. This is a cop. Oh, goddamn, there's the end of the road right there. see that well but still fun still fun still fun getting bugs off your visor is to just get a wet paper towel and put it over your whole visor and just like let it sit there for a little bit like, it doesn't have to be like soaking wet but like damp and it will get all the bugs wet instead of dry and they'll come off your visor really easy it works super nice instead of having to like sit there and try to scrape them off with paper towel and shit you just put like a wet or damp paper towel on top and leave it there for like 5, 10, 15 minutes and then you can easily wipe the bugs off because they get, they like soak up the water again and they aren't dry so you don't have to like scrape them off but I think I'm gonna end the video here I think it's gonna be quite a long one but if you enjoyed the video drop a like hit the subscribe button I think this has about to turn green all right, spread some love. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.